Wake up, monkey. How are your wounds coming along? Yes, they do seem to be healing up just fine. So, have you thought about what I told you before? About you being betrayed by your kin. Oh, so it's possible, but you still don't believe it. Disappointing, but progress nonetheless. Why am I here after not seeing you for five weeks? It's simple, really. See, I've been told by those who have been monitoring you that you've been abiding to the rules. That pleases me, so I've decided to grant you limited wandering space. You are still a monster hunter, so for now you're only limited to your cell. Would you rather have nothing? That's what I thought. I'm sure you know this by now, but a group of your fellow hunters came by not too long ago in an attempt to either rescue you or kill us both. Given they tried to collapse my stronghold, I assume it was the latter. You're sorry? You're sorry for what, ape? Yes, well, all of that occurred centuries ago. I also came to tell you that I am to be expecting a visitor who wishes to see you. Yes, it's another dragon. Unlike me, he doesn't share my hatred for you simians. He'll arrive within the next few days to extract as much information that you may have. We might not be able to learn what those hunters plan to do. What we can learn is what they told you your mission was. Sit down. I warned you before, didn't I? If I wasn't in a generous mood already, I would have killed you on the spot. Do not forget, Hunter. You're at my mercy. <sighs> Just listen. Once I obtain this information, I no longer need you. If and only if you cooperate with me here. I might just release you after I'm done. Of course, should you continue to irritate me, then I'd be more than glad to kill you afterwards. I don't hate you specifically. I just hate your species. Have you earned the right to my name yet? No, as a matter of fact, you haven't. Why do you even care if you knew my name? In all likelihood, you're going to end up dead. So what difference does it make? If you knew my name, you'd see me more as a person and less as a monster. All the more reason to keep my name to myself. I don't remember asking for your name, monkey. You are my prisoner. Even with this information, I still don't see you as a person. You don't act like the rest of those hunters. Even when I first brought you in here, you had a seemingly well-put composure. Given the circumstances, why did you become a monster hunter? So, you lost your significant other and child in a vampire attack, did you? Yet you're here hunting a dragon. Why didn't you just go out and slaughter as many vampires you can get your hands on? You're right, it wouldn't bring them back. Oh, but the satisfaction would make it all worth it, would it not? They're dead. 
Why should you be forced to model yourself after the way they wanted you to be? Sounds pretty pathetic if you ask me. Well, I've lingered longer than I would have liked. I shall take my leave, Hunter. Now remember, this visitor will be arriving in a few days. You are to behave yourself until then. It would be a shame to reunite you with your loved ones so soon, now would it? I've enjoyed this little chat, Hunter. It's given me quite the leverage. Don't forget where you stand. Galaru sure is taking his sweet time getting here, as per usual. One of these days we'll have one less dragon in the world to worry about. <laughs>